Agent 47 and Diana Burnwood are the world's top assassins working for the ICA. Unknowingly, they have been hired by a shadow client to target a number of operatives of Providence, a secret organization working in the highest echelons of power. Providence's controller, the Constant, approaches Diana and makes her a deal. Eliminate the shadow client and learn about 47's past. But when 47 discovers that the shadow client is Lucas Gray, his lost childhood friend, he and Diana switch sides to fulfill an old pact. Destroy Providence. Together, they manage to capture the Constant, forcing him to reveal the identities of the three Providence partners. Eliminate them, and the war would be over. However, the Constant has an ace up his sleeve. Look closer. In the shadows, behind the everyday world, beyond the headlines and the seats of power, a hidden hand. A kind of company known as Providence. To it, we were just assets to use and throw away. To do the unthinkable, the unforgivable. And it never gave us a second thought. Until now. After decades in the shadows, we are fighting back. Me and 47. Much has been lost, but we are closer than ever. We trapped the Constant, Providence's chief controller, and finally learned the names of its three partners. In their downfall, we lay the past to rest. And, just maybe, look towards the future. 37. It's time. Partners are down there. You know, I never planned this far ahead. You never do. I see someone got his memory back. Wait, is that a beacon? <laughs> what the hell? Base. Lexa Carlisle's helicopter just took off. Confirm target locations, over. Diana, what's the status? Right. We have a situation. Carlisle has left the building. And I think I know why. The Constant has escaped. He persuaded one of the sailors into setting him free. And since then, he's been seizing control of Providence assets and resources. I can only assume Carlisle is rushing to contain the damage. If she slips away again... We'll keep track of her. Make sure she doesn't. Meanwhile, the plan stays the same. Your destination is the Scepter, the world's tallest building where the partners are laying low, courtesy of their host, Sheikh Omar al-Ghazali. Marcus Stuyvesant is fifth-generation old money. His family made its fortune in real estate and banking and were at one point the chief landowners in New York. Carl Ingram is a powerful Washington kingmaker whose family grew rich selling gunpowder during the American Civil War and later established a globe-spanning empire in oil, coal, and steel. Both families long since retreated from public view, but their quiet dominance endures to this day. Now, the partners likely suspect that we're coming, so Mr. Gray will infiltrate building controls and disable all electronic doors and elevators. Stuyvesant and Ingram are about to find they have nowhere left to run. Right. This is our moment, 47. 
Providence ruined our lives with the flick of a pen. Today, we return the favor. Happy hunting. Welcome to Dubai, 47. Today is the inauguration of the scepter, and the ceremony is well underway. You will find Marcus Stuyvesant near the building's signature art installation. While a paranoid Carl Ingram has ensconced himself in his penthouse suite, security on highest alert. Mr. Gray is already in position and ready to assist. Good luck, 47. Forty-seven. Come in. Forty-seven, do you copy? I'm here. Are you in position? I'm heading towards the point of entry. Good. Get back to me when you're there. Use your camera and scan the lock, will you? I think I can override the window's controls from here. I'm in position. 47, the inauguration is taking place close by. Once you've infiltrated it, get your bearings. I'm sure there must be floor plans somewhere. Understood. We need absolute focus on this one. If Ingram and Stuyvesant are alerted to our presence, we may lose them for good. We are so close, 47. Don't worry. They're not going anywhere. Welcome to the barge, Alcazar. Welcome! Welcome. Hello! Good to see you. How lovely to see so many familiar, familiar faces here today. This has been a dream of mine for a great many years. And as all of you know, I am from one of the less primitive sides of the spectrum. Listen, I want to talk to the partners directly. Make them understand why all of this is happening. And that terminal gives me an idea. There's a server room near the Sheikh's personal reception. If you can gain access to it, we might be able to recover useful intel from it. We'll have to work together to hack the system, but it's our best shot.
It looks like the staff area could provide you with a viable route to the server room. Probably still down in the depot, getting his uniform. I just hope he's got his papers with him. I heard rumors that he used to work for that Dowood Rangan. You know, the Bollywood producer who died. Doesn't sound promising. <laughs> no, it doesn't. Stuyvesant is expecting a replacement guard. If you can locate him, we should be able to get within strangling distance of the little worm.
Look, I'll just have the one drink. I'm sure if I need down there. Make me look. Hey, you! I have a problem. I'm supposed to meet up for duty, but they can't find my uniform. That's not my problem. Come on, I need help. You look my size. If, if you're off duty, couldn't I just borrow your uniform? It's my first day, and I really need this gig. Good for you. Congratulations. No, it's all screwed up. They can't find my uniform. I'm begging you, man to man. Sorry, still on duty. Oh God. This is not my day. Oh, it's Mumbai all over again. Look, this is gonna make me look really bad. I'm sure it's around here somewhere. Don't you worry. A colleague is also out there looking. But this is awful. I mean, I'm in my boxers and you are a woman. It's just so embarrassing. Oh, it's nothing I haven't seen before. But you don't understand, I'm military. We military men are used to punctuality. I, I was supposed to be ready and present my papers half an hour ago. Huh? Is that this bloody idiot messing around with Right, gather up. This is briefing four of the day. Most of the guests have arrived now. His Highness should be just about finished with his opening speech. This is where it gets real. The last nine hours have been a tutorial for what's coming now. Enjoying You'll the have view, some sir. of the most important people in the world out there. Art critics, royal...
reporting for duty. About time. Our client has been going out of his mind waiting for you. Do you have the papers? Yes. Good. I'll call him now. How should I address him? It's classified. So, you don't call him anything. But officially, he's just known as codename Pinky. Sir, this Hello, is security. Sir. Just calling to let you know your new guard has finally arrived. Yes, sir. See you soon. Okay. Wait here. He'll be here shortly. Mumbai. I heard that was a shitstorm. It's good to see a man like you back in the saddle. I guess it's just our line of work. You can't keep everyone alive. I am sure I can handle it. That's the right attitude. You'll fit in fine here. I don't do small talk. Where is the package? So, how are you finding Dubai? That's a... Okay, you must be my new escort. I Get have very out. high standards, and trust you will do your duty. You have your credentials on you? Okay, let's see here. Well, you have been around the world. Mumbai, Italy, France, Japan. This is a very impressive CV. I think you'll do. Okay, walk with me. I need to go through some grand rules. I expect you to be by my side 24-7, unless I say otherwise. Bathroom breaks are, of course, permitted, but only when I say so. I have a very important and delicate meeting today, in which I expect you to keep your ears closed, but your eyes wide open. Understood? Now. Your papers were indeed impressive, but I need to see what you can do with my own eyes. My father used to take me hunting. He was an avid hunter. I personally hated it, but always admired his skill with a knife, and grew to appreciate what it takes to gut an animal. Have you ever tried to gut an animal? Yes. Oh, hi. Good. Then you know it's not so easy as it looks. Like trying to stab a rubber ball bounces back if you don't stab it correctly. You're almost here. You have to understand. I didn't get where I am by blind faith. Okay, we are almost there. You see the shooting targets? Any fool can shoot a target. With a knife? No. That's where the talent lies. My father always used to say, if you are good with a knife, you're even better with a gun. I want to see your skills. I don't know why, but I've always trusted a man who would throw a knife. <laughs> I'm sure a psychiatrist would have a field day with that statement. So, show me what you got. Do well and you work for me. Fail, you get out of here. I never want to see your face again. It's just only as half as good as you were. Only time will tell. But I doubt it. You cocky. I'm here incognito. 
So I want you to stay close, but not too close, especially when we are out in public. If you see a man with a bodyguard, it draws attention. You got him, 47. Marcus Stuyvesant won't be a problem anymore. Let's move on to Carl Ingram. We're not done yet. I just want to remind you about the uh, lockdown drill tomorrow. That's right, 900 hours. And the key cards to activate the alarms are still in the safe in the security room. Yeah, same code. Six, nine, two, seven. Just don't tell your mother what I have to shoot. <laughs> okay. Okay, but remember, you need to activate the alarm on both floors, otherwise nothing's gonna happen. to stop.
Yeah, I must go and get the, um, uh, from the, 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 the dog. What did I say? I can't remember what it was. What is she at? Oh, yeah. Hmm. I have no idea what I'm Gary lost this. Such a dick.
these elevators are ever gonna work right. <laughs> oh yeah, definitely. I'm sure all of the well-paid and ethically treated contractors in this place will be back any day now. Well, I can't expect people to take the stairs all the time. It's just a precaution. A I've been personally invited no by the Royal Highness Omar Al Ghazali. I should have clearance. The name is Zayna Kazi. Sir, I understand. You can't enter without being searched. It's standard procedure. This is ridiculous. Well, that's how it is. Think about it and come back if you want. I'll be waiting upstairs in the reception. Understood. Crystal. Greetings, sir. I will have to, sir. I'm sorry. This is a restricted area. Good. Now don't show yourself around here anymore. Hey, bud. If you want to get past me, I have to frisk you first. That's not open for discussion. Yeah, it feels good, huh? Yeah, I bet it does there, cue ball. Right, that's it. Keep moving, please. Oh, Mr. Kazim. I'm glad you changed your mind. Arrogance can be a dangerous trait. Yes, indeed, it can. Mr. Ingram has been expecting you. 
We have a conference room set up for you. How are you today, sir? Mr. Kazim, a pleasure to meet you. Omar tells me great things about you. I'll get straight to the point. I have a, well, let's call it a dispute. The Royal Highness tells me you're very capable of taking care of. Now, I've worked with your organization before, in Morocco, I believe, so I'm a little hesitant. Don't be. We do what's needed. Well, only time will tell. I have two assignments for you. Take care of the first one, and then we can discuss the bigger fish. Now, on to the first. An acute problem has been brought to my attention. Keep talking. I'll be candid with you. No one is supposed to know that I'm here. However, there's a journalist down at the inauguration, and he's asking rather intrusive questions about who's staying up here, and that is a very dangerous problem for me. Now, I want you to silence this little pain. You think you can do that? It's what I do best. I like your bluntness. This is his file. Hans looked. Pulitzer-winning freelance journalist. He's good, and won't give up until he gets the answers he needs. And that can't happen. Consider it done. Good man. And remember, I want a picture. I want proof so I can sleep tonight. Of course. Once this little assignment is completed, come back and talk to Miss Toe. Then we can discuss the real cancer that needs to be removed. I'm sure you can see yourself out. That's Carl Ingram. Providence partner and brass balls billionaire. A legendary political fixer, Ingram is old money and as rotten as they come. Hey, you! Where do you think you're going? Definitely not through here. Get out of my face. Hello, sir. Stairs, that is the Royal Highness Omar Al Ghazali's private penthouse. Am I correct? I heard rumors he has some guests of some significance. Now, I understand you probably signed an NDA, but I may be able to make up for it with cold cash. Sir, I suggest you stop asking these questions. I will have to contact Central to escort you out. Mr. Lucht, I hear you're looking for information. Oh, really? Okay. 
You know what's happening upstairs? I know more than you could imagine. But we can't talk here. Follow me. Great. Lead the way. source that the Royal Highness Omar Al-Ghazali is keeping a secret upstairs. What? Hey, you okay? Where's your clothes, buddy? Hello? Oh, shit. <laughs> Yes, that's it. Now Ingram trusts you, it's like shooting fish in a barrel. Yeah, hey. Please stay back. Good man, looking good. What's up? Mr. Kazim, welcome back. So, you have the picture. Yes, here. Good. Our guest will be delighted. Please follow me. He's waiting. Mr. Kazim, please follow me. Hi there. So. Do you like the building? This has been His Royal Highness's dream. I think for even longer than I have known him. Everything here is completely self-sufficient. Electricity, internet, even water is cleaned and reused. It's the first of its kind on this scale. It was important for him to look to the future. Patronage is the lifeblood of the arts. That's never going to change. I'm not pretending to have all the answers, but people like Phillips should have to choose between having food or having integrity. I hope you have had time to see the art exhibition. His Royal Highness has a keen eye for the arts. If you haven't yet, I highly recommend it. Mr. Ingram is expecting you. Mr. Let the pros Kirsten, do their job. So good to see you. Do you have the picture? Yes. Your problem is fixed. <laughs> Omar said you were good. Let's get down to the important business at hand. 
Okay, people, clear the room. I need to discuss some delicate business with Mr. Kazim. Perfect. We have Excuse Ingram right where we want him. Forty-seven, you know what to do. Have a drink, see the view. It's something to behold. I'm sorry about that. Now, where were we? Now I know. My man here will stay for the meeting. I assume that will not be a problem. Either way, you have no choice in the matter. Just keep calm. Good idea. Oh, where was I? It's interesting we haven't come across each other before, Mr. Kazim. Well, maybe not. I usually... Yeah. Uh, oh no. Uh, okay. I don't feel so good. Oh, oh easy now. Don't blow a fuse. Hmm. Oh, you need to change your grollies after that. We got him, 47. Soon there will be no more Providence. You need to find an exit. Our business is done here, but it's far from over. Sorry, but Mr. Ingram, who is the Royal Highness's guest, has requested no noise of any. 